Apa yang saya katakan di sini ialah There are four ministers Who are in our cabinet Who are sitting in Perikatan Nasional They cannot say that they don't know anything That means they were dumb during the cabinet meetings <laughs> And they also apply yeah. Six of them Four only Oh no, yeah, Rezwan uh, plus, plus, uh, plus uh, I'm only talking about pengkhianat empat lah uh, Yang ada di dalam sana Yang itu, yang lain Dia target PKR je Tapi masalah sekarang jelas Kita sudah tengok satu 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 cara soalan yang di, di tam, soalan tambahan yang dimintanya jawapan sudah pun disediakan untuk dijawab this is a, this is something that's going on in parliament now uh, when there is a subsequent question the answers are ready for that question and that is really bad for us parliament is turning into a circus uh, it's no more issue of debating now It's only an issue where you are throwing, politicizing it to an extent where it is benci bermenci satu sama lain. That is the direction this parliament is taking uh, this past one sitting that we have seen. And I think it's more to come. So what we have said here, we have been very truthful. I think the Minister of Finance has been very mischievous in making such a statement in parliament. And the onus is on him to come back to parliament and answer in detail as to how he came up with the figure of 6.3 or 6.4 billion, 6.6 billion ringgit. And we await him. He should be doing it tomorrow if I were him or day after tomorrow. But he, I'm sure he's not prepared to do it yet. And this is not parliamentary behavior for a person who has just come in from the blues into a very powerful ministry. Don't let backbenchers rule you. I think you should be performing according to your standards. And that is what we ask of him.